Howdy folks, how are y'all doing? This is Cub here, and welcome back to Sky Factory! I almost said Skyblock, but that's not what this is, this is Sky Factory. It is kind of like Skyblock, but it's, it's like Skyblock if it was put on like a bunch of steroids, like the kind of steroids that would get you banned from professional baseball for life. What a weird tangent. Anyway, welcome at Sunrise, this is episode 20 and a half. I decided to go with a half episode, because we're basically just picking up where we left off in episode 20. It, it's actually the, this, basically the same. It's a new day. It's a new day, although it was just in the last night that we built our ME system. It is a continuation, though. And in this one, we're going to be building an import bus so we can start moving items from this wonderful machine here, this wonderful automatic sifting machine, into our wonderful control... D right, let's just get started with it. So we're going to build a basic import bus. No reason to go with a fuzzy or precision. Not today, at least. We're just going to build a basic one. It's going to require an ME cable, which we have a couple of, although we will need more in order to actually ran run everything. Uh, actually, depending on how we set this up, we might not need to build any more. We're going to need iron... And we're going to need an Emmy interface. Ooh, no, stop. A sticky piston, which we know how to build. I think. Do we have an, a ball of glue? Some raw rubber? Oh, we got some raw rubber. See, I was worried we didn't have any slime, but we don't need it. And uh, the Emmy interface is... We've built one of these before. It's going to require our last Emmy cable and a conversion matrix, which I don't remember exactly how to... All right, well, we got that. So let's just go through here and get everything we need. Let's start off with getting all of this stuff pulled out of the way. Let's see. One, two, we need three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven pieces of iron. We'll go ahead and grab 28 just to be on the safe side. We are also going to need some glass. Do we have any of that left over from the last? No, we don't. And I think we're probably out of sand. Not not good. We'll make some more. Along with that, we're also gonna need to build. I think we, we probably have everything we need. We're just we're gonna have to get all of these items out as well and just have them with us in our inventory. Sticks and diamonds don't even go in here, neither do emeralds. We'll put them up in their proper places real quick. Uh, I'm trying to keep everything sort of organized because in the past episodes, my inventory's gotten crazy out of control and I end up with a massive mess to clean up either in the middle of the episode or just after the episode. It makes it hard to focus because there's just a bunch of useless stuff. Like, right now, there's a hole in my inventory. Why is there a hole in my inventory? What am I going to need to hole later? Nothing. Exactly. Build some glass, and in fact, you know what? We're probably going to need more. Might as well just go ahead and be ready for it. Be anticipating the fact that we're going to need more glass. There we go. Let's start with the rough, rough, rough... Bark, 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 basics. We'll grab our gold. And this recipe I can actually remember. I don't know how. But for some reason, this recipe sticks out in my mind. I can remember it. <laughs> oh, that's a big deal for me, guys. Y'all know that. Y'all know how bad I am at remembering recipes and stuff. So this is sort of a, a major plot point here. Uh, a big change for me. Next up, we've got that. We're going to surround that with... Ooh, do we have any more Fluix dust? We do. Excellent. All right. Let's just get that recipe in here, and hopefully we've got everything. Yep. To do that. And then, what am I missing? One more piece of glass. Boom. Great. So we've got our interface. We're going to combine that with a cable, a couple of iron. We haven't actually built a piston yet. Do we have the stuff in our inventory for that? Forcing it. Why would I use a forcing it? Silly, silly mod. Oh, you silly mod. Why would I do that? There we go. We got everything we need right here anyway. Pistons for the longest time I couldn't memorize. If you guys go back and watch my original Tech It series, you'll know I could never memorize this recipe. And I don't know why, because it's actually pretty basic. But for whatever reason, it was just really hard for me to get down. But as you can tell, I've clearly got it now, and I'm going to need some rubber. Raw rubber, preferably. Yeah, I knew I had some of that somewhere. Got our sticky piston. We can combine that with all of this other stuff, and we've got our basic import bus. Yay! And unfortunately, that did use up all of our cables, so... Not perfect. Not, not, you know, ideal. We're going to have to build some more. Or maybe we won't. We'll find out. My plan here is instead of building one on each one of these vacuum hoppers, we'll have the vacuum hoppers empty into a chest, which will then have the import bus feed off of the chest into the main system. 
And we might have to build more than one import bus. I remember back in Tekkit, I had to build more than one because it got a little overran. But we'll, we'll see what happens. First off, let's build that chest. And we have the resources. We might as well make it an iron chest. And we have the resources. We might as well make it a gold chest. And we have the resources. We might as well make it a, a diamond chest. I don't, I don't see a reason why not to. We've just got these diamonds. They're kind of sitting around. They're not being used a whole lot. Let's, let's just do it. <laughs> and we have the resources. We might as well make it... Eh, oh, an obsidian chest. Don't think I've ever built one of those. Uh, I don't like the idea of a clear chest. I, I have bad memories of those on previous servers. I don't think it'll be a big problem this time. Or oh, no. Okay, we're still, still going through a backlog. I turned off the cobblestone production system because we had way too much kind of built up and backed up, so... That's why we have that one little piece floating around. I need to remember, I need to stay focused and remember to turn that back on, though, before these run out. Because that would be bad if we just ran out of power all of a sudden. Alright, surrounded with obsidian. There we go, we got an obsidian chest. And while we have that, we might as well... No, that's as good as it gets right there. It's an obsidian chest. Completely unnecessary obsidian chest. So I think we could probably just place it here. Oh my gosh, it doesn't even fit on my screen. This is this is ridiculous. This is unnecessary. All right, we'll break this. And I actually don't know if this will work. Oh, plugged in. Let's go ahead and test it. Let's throw some cobblestone in there and see if it gets tugged into the system. Yeah, it's working. Fantastic. So now we'll just take down all of these from the the system served us well in the past. I like the barrels. The barrels served us well. Unfortunately for the barrels, their their time is at an end. Uh, all great, everything everything comes to an end. Even the greatest of inventions that everyone thought would be around forever. I mean, the, the household telephone, it's on the way out. No one would have expected that. I mean, who would have thought the telephone, you know, like 20 years ago would go out? I, I for one, would have never guessed. Then again, I've never been best for guessing things like that. I, I thought we'd still be using Game Boys right now. So, there's that. Boom. So that'll go in there. We can get rid of this. Completely unnecessary. Excellent. And how is this doing as far as clearing out? Did it... It did reasonable. Alright, well... Might as well throw the switch. And 64... Now, it'll only hold 64 different types of items. We're gonna need to get another ME storage, so I might as well go ahead and build that now. And let me actually get up. I have over here, thanks to the wiki... A list of everything we need for that. 4K storage. Where is it? Glass, redstone, gold, etc., etc. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and build one more of these and we'll come back when it's done. Boom. All right. Excellent. Very, very easy to build. So glad we went with this instead of a ridiculous 64k unnecessary absolutely unnecessary how is this doing oh man this is doing great so we now have enough storage for 128 different types of items and i think 250 stacks or some weird number like that hold on i can actually 260 stacks of each individual item which is awesome so now begins the slow and arduous process of moving all of this over here and how am i going to do that well Probably just going to break these and throw the contents in here. And in fact, might as well go ahead and empty everything that's in my inventory out into here since it's going to be storing everything anyway. I might have to build another storage drive here soon, which is okay. Not that big of a deal because that is going to run out. I don't. I think we probably have more than um, 128 different types of items, although I'm not sure. We might not. I guess we'll find out soon enough, though. And another thing I need to make sure of is that... Ooh, we're full. Another thing I need to make sure of is that that chest is not getting overflow, right? We need to make sure it is pulling items out quick enough. If not, we need to build a couple of more import buses and just attach them to the chest so we'll get more pull-out power. And it looks fine, although I don't know. Yeah, it looks like it's pulling it out quick enough. That might change, though, once we loop in all the other items into this system because eventually, ideally... Everything we have will be connected to this system. So all of the monster spawning, or all the monster massacre houses we have, all two of them. I say all like we have a whole bunch. We don't. They'll be hooked up into this system. And 
Mm, eventually, I'd like to have like automated gardening, and that'll be hooked into this system as well. But until then, I'm gonna go ahead and just just focus on one thing at a time. And right now, I'm focusing on moving this stuff over, and I need to focus on finding some melons because I'm getting hungry. And what do I do when I need to find melons? Oh, I dig around in hundreds and hundreds of chests, don't I? No, I don't. I just type in melon. Oh, only one L in melon. Melons, and I have melons. Oh my gosh! Yeah, this is nice. This is great, actually. Fantastic. Well, folks, it's hard to believe, but it, it's holding it all. All except for... No, yeah, that's empty, too. The whole... The wall of barrels. The wall of barrels that we have come so, to love and cherish is now useless. Because it's all held in here. And this guy... This guy is maxed out. It's holding the max amount of items that it can hold. And... I thought it could hold more. I thought it could hold, like... Eh, whatever. This one is... Nah, it's moderately there. We we still have a lot of random items we need to sort through, like the items in this chest. We're not going to be able to do that until we get at least one or two more of the 4K storage units, which will not be difficult at all. We've got the resources, but look at this. This is fantastic. And anytime we need anything, we can just type it in there. Now, there's some other really cool stuff. Oh, yeah, it also types it in over here as well. So that's really great integration between applied energistics and not enough items. Fantastic. Now, there's some other applied energistics items we can build that uh, might be useful here. For instance, a crafting terminal, which will plug right into this thing and allow us to... Where is that crafting terminal? There it is. Allow us to craft items without having to take them out. And, and it just hooks up into the system, and it makes crafting super easy. Definitely going to need one of those. Wireless access points we're going to need. And I believe there's a handheld device you can get as well, so you can access your items on the go. I don't see... Wireless access terminal. There you go. We're going to need to build a an access terminal, an energy cell, and a wireless receiver, but that's really great if you can build one of those. Um, we're we're going to be doing that soon. I think probably the next episode or the episode afterward, we're going to be doing that. And yeah, so for right now, I'm going to work on kind of off screen building a couple more of these. We have the resources. They're really easy to build. And tearing all of this down in the next episode, we're, we're going to be doing more with this. I think that episode, what is it, 21 will be up to. I think we'll focus a lot on... We, you know what, we probably don't even need this machine running at this point. Has it... Has it oh, it's burnt through its uh, build-up. We can, we can fix that real fast, can't we? How do I turn this thing back on? Just momentarily. And that's probably enough. <laughs> that's all we need right there. And yeah, we, we have enough supplies. The next episode will focus probably entirely on wireless access and wireless moving of items and wireless receiving and crafting. And it'll be really cool. And I hope you guys tune in for it. And I will see you at episode 25 as well, where we will have something cool this next time around. I promise. Episode episode 25. I've said that before, I know. But this time, this time I mean it. All right, goodbye, guys. Thank you all for watching. Bye. Windfly.